Hello everyone, I'm That Embroidery Girl and welcome back to another hand embroidery tutorial and today it's Lazy Daisies. So first you're going to want a water soluble pen, some embroidery floss, I've got white, a nice yellow one, two different types of green, a darker off-white colour, that's perfect really, and a pair of embroidery scissors, some linen fabric and a chenille needle like this. So you're going to want to draw first a tiny circle, then a D shape, and then another D shape in this orientation. And we're going to come up and we're going to start our first stitch, which is a detached chain stitch. And I'm using the full strand of floss for all of this embroidery design. So we're not going to be splitting anything. I'm going to come up in the same place that I went down and then catch that loop on the needle secure that loop with a stitch like so and then I'm actually going to place another stitch inside this just so it hides the fabric and that's one petal done. I'm going to come up on the opposite side now of this D shape and repeat the same process. So after that I'm going to go ahead and add petals around these shapes just like so. I'm then going to grab the darker off-white shade and add some extra darker petals just around the circle shape. This is going to add a sense of depth when I come to add the finishing layer around the circle. So once that's done I'm going to add some French knots in a yellow floss. I'm going to fill all the areas in with this and then I'm going to go back and add some final white petals on top just like so. Now I'm going to draw in some stalks with my water soluble pen and I'm going to start a full chain stitch. So go down, come up, catch that loop but instead of going down actually go back in with the needle inside the loop and pull it up again. Do half of the main chain and then go on to do the other two side daisies and then finish off with the final part of this chain. Now we're going to add a whip stitch here just to make it stand out a bit more. So I've got a different green and I'm just going to thread that through my chain stitch exactly like so. And that is the finished tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see next. 